Hey guys, Simon here from Top Tennis Training and today's question is from Bashful Productions and he asks me any advice for someone who's just starting out playing futures events and for you guys who don't know what they are we have at the top of the level we have the ATP that's the ATP level tournament then we have the challenger level tournament just below and at the bottom we have the futures level the futures is where everyone starts that's where you get your first ATP point that's where your players are from 1800 in the world up to 300 in the world so anyone who's just starting out playing these events he's asking for some advice so my first first thing I would say is if you can find a team of guys maybe three or four players that you can share the hotel costs with share the traveling costs with and share your coach with between three or four of you that will reduce the cost for you individually and the other big thing I would say is even if you want to just compete at futures level still try to play some local events play your local money event and these events in between the futures matches because what I used to find when I played myself, you might play one or two matches in a qualifying event, you might come up against a seed, and then you don't play for the next three or four weeks because you, obviously money is very tough at these events. The prize money even for winning a futures is only about £900, so about $1,400, $1,500, so it's not very much. So the whole thing is try to reduce the costs. I used to stay in hostels when I used to go to Span, uh, Spain, France, places like this I would stay in hostels, I would stay in the cheapest hotels I could find I would travel on the flights that I book months in advance so book your flights way in advance even if you don't book the return flight book your outward flight way in advance and play the local events so you keep your match level up because the, the worst thing you can do is just, just play futures and you're playing only two or three matches maybe in two or three weeks time so try to play as many matches as possible get your ma match level as high as you can and compete in your money events because that's where you're going to win some prize money so in, in the UK we have a thing called the British Tour if you can compete there that would be perfect for you and all around the world we have money tournaments more or less in Spain there's a huge money circuit even players like Almagro I remember in 2004 he was 150 in the world and he was still competing in these local events winning 2,500 euros and prize money like this is that's going to fund your, your futures event. So play as many local events as you can that has prize money and make sure that you find a small team of guys. If you do have to travel on your own, book your flights in advance, outward flights at least and try to find hostels, places like cheap hotels to stay in. The last thing you want to do is stay in the, the official players hotel because most of the time those are quite expensive. And take your own food, that's another option. You can take your own snacks, you can take your own stuff from home if you're traveling abroad. Sometimes the, uh, the tournament food is quite expensive as well. And try to get through the level as quickly as you can. Make sure that you work hard on your game. You don't want to spend too many years playing futures events. If you do have some funding to play these events, Try to build through the rankings as quickly as possible with a lot of solid hard work on the stuff that you need to work on on your game. Guys, what I would really like to say is if you have any questions, please ask them below this video or email me them at toptennistraining at hotmail.co.uk. This summer, the next couple of months, I'm going to try and answer as many as I can on video. So if you do like this video, please click like and please make sure that you subscribe for more free coaching videos. And thank you very much for watching.